Mike Tess, Mike Tess, all right, here we go. All right, what is up, everybody? Azario here. Welcome to another ADS play up on the schedule for the week of, actually, I meant to do the Sunday, but this is actually going into the final week of uh, June. So the week of June 22nd going into June 30th, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do another one on that week anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So this, uh, uh really? I just got a signal that my battery was low. <laughs> Hold on. But yeah, I'm um, making this one kind of late. I intend to get to it earlier. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I'm getting it done. So today, or tonight, I'm going to be letting you guys know all the games that I'll be playing coming up. There's some really good ones. Um, the plans for the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel are still in the works. Um... Also, an update with my new contract that I'm working out with a company whose name I'm not going to say just yet, but uh, it's in the works. Um, also, some other things that I have uh, planned that uh, we're going to talk about as we go along. But first, I want to talk about, before I get into anything, my acting. Some of you know that, you know, I did announce on my Instagram that I was having eye surgery, and I didn't really give an update on that situation. So, here goes. Um... So I went to the, the appointment was set up on the 15th and I went to the doctor's office. I went in there with the intention of actually getting an eye surgery, but they wanted to evaluate my eyes to see how bad the damage is and what exactly they needed to do. Um, and they dilated my eyes like three times in a row. I couldn't see a, a thing. They took pictures. Um, you know, they basically did everything they were supposed to do beforehand before they, you know, actually put me under a knife. And, um, you know, after evaluating my eyes, they found out that the damage wasn't as bad as they thought, so the surgery wasn't needed. So that's a good, you know, thing that I didn't have to get under a knife. Um, also, that uh, they did find out that there was some bone speculation in the back of my left eye. Um, they said it was just like little black. Like I wish I could show you this this picture, but it was like little black uh, splashes in the back of my eye. Like when they took the picture, it doesn't cause any sight problems, but you know, they said it was from me possibly getting hit in the eye, which I don't think happened. I mean, I never got hit in the eye. I haven't even been in a fight in so damn long. That doesn't mean I forgot how to fight. I haven't been in a physical altercation myself out of trouble now that's why but um yes it could be from what they said it could have been from when i was little just judging by the uh like the aging of it i guess he said but you know but the vision in my left eye is a little bit worse than my right which i already knew but um like just slightly worse it's not you know it's, I, I can't really see the difference when they you know give me the eye exam but you know the surgery wasn't needed i'm i'm fine you know, and um, that's basically what it is. Uh, so, there you go, you're updated. Now on to the game. Now, as you guys know, I started playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And uh, this upcoming um, Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Uh, we have Star Ocean, Integrity, and Faithfulness coming out. You know, they haven't, they haven't been in a, a Star Ocean game in, since, what, the GameCube? And how many? Uh, how long ago was that? You know, so it's good to see that we're getting another Star Ocean game for the PlayStation Four. I think it's also going to be on the Xbox 360. I'm not sure, but most definitely I will be playing that. Um, also, they already sent me Mighty Number no. Nine. Anybody who knows about Mighty Number no. Nine knows actually a Kickstarter project um, that was uh, that began when the creator of Mega Man um, actually made the Kickstarter for this. Uh, he made Mighty Number no. Nine as a successor to Mega Man Legends. Once it was announced that Mega Man Legends, I think Mega Man Legends Two was was canceled, and the creator of Mega Man decided to go on Kickstarter and get crowdfunded to make Mighty Number no. Nine as a successor to Mega Man Legends, considering that they kept you know dropping the ball with making uh, Mega Man Legends happen. So that's what that's all about. So ready for them so i'm finally going to be able to see what that game is all about uh hopefully if uh it's as good as i think it is and it brings me back to those times of like the earlier mega man games on the snes 
and all, and on the games there. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. So most definitely. So Mirror Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I think I'm like halfway done with that game, possibly, or at least a third way through. Um, I still got a lot of things to upload when it comes to uh, you know, a lot of footage to upload from Mirror's Edge, and uh, you know we're gonna get to that. Um, later on this week, I'm going to just upload, you know, every day until, you know, the game is uh, completed, is played and uploaded until I get Mighty Number no. 9, play that a little bit and, and so forth. So those are like the main two games I have right now um, to play. Uh, I also got Shadow of the Beast, which is like an indie game. Um, I'm, I plan on getting that later on this week as well. Um, I'm gonna download that off the PlayStation Network because it's a, like, like it's a digital only. They haven't put it on disc as, as, as far as my knowledge goes. As of right now, it's only digital only. But who's to say that they're not gonna put it on disc like later on or something? I don't know. But as of right now, it's digital only indie game. It looks pretty fun. I wanna check it out and see what it's about. Uh, looks pretty action adventure based, and I'm curious to see how well uh, these developers did on that game. So. Shadow of the Beast, uh, coming later on this week. Uh, what else? What else? Um, oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Uh, let me talk about that. So I'm still getting some things in the works uh, when it comes to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Um, I want to get like a nice intro done. I don't know anybody that do intros or anything like that. I'm hoping I can find somebody uh, to get that. Um, done for me, um, I'm trying to find somebody who can do that, uh, besides that, I want to get, like, a green screen, have, like, a backdrop, or maybe, like, the cards that I'm doing a card review on, and I think that'll actually be something cool as well, um, but it's gonna, gonna be a work in progress, most definitely, so I got big things planned for that usual channel, that's just not in a position to do yet, but I'm gonna get screen and get all that done in due time. So it's going to be a minute, but when I do get it up and running, it is, it's actually going to be up to par with, you know, I don't know, I guess you could say today's time, where there's like a, a bunch of video editing and things like that, but, you know, even though I don't really need to do that, it'll still be cool to have like a backdrop of the card that I'm talking about where you guys can actually see me um, talking about the card, you know, so that'll be something cool. You guys can actually see my face in the, uh, um, in the, um, in the video, my whole body, actually, at least the top half, but, yeah, so that's the plans I have for the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, it's gonna be something special when it, when it officially gets launched, so, we have that going on, um, I still have to do the Sony E3 and the Nintendo E3, uh, conferences, um, those are taking a little, well, actually, I'm going to get those done later on tonight. Uh, I'm going to work till like, 12 p.m. tomorrow, so I definitely got time to do it. Um, I'm going to finish those up, and I'm going to get those uploaded as well. Um, trying to see what else I have to speak on. Oh, yeah. Um, I am, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Um, I'm about to get ready to uh, take a week of vacation off, a week off at work um, at the, around the end of uh, July. The reason being is because I have some personal things I need to take care of that are actually you know, business oriented that if they work out for me, I could be in a better position where I could do this full time and actually make a living doing this a lot sooner. So, it's going to be, of course, I'm going to report everything that happens. You know, that's most definitely going to be um, happening. But I want to make sure that everything's confirmed before I make any announcements. If not, then I guess I just won't be saying anything. But that's the plan uh, during that week that I'm gone um, and on hiatus. I have videos prepared. Um, I think there's like a schedule uploader or something I can use. To have the videos go live on a certain day. I, I never used it before, but I think this would be, that would be a good time for me to use it. Uh, that, that way, at least you guys will still have things to watch during that week that I'm gone. But, um, 
I'm really trying to put myself in a position where, you know, I could be my own boss. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make that happen. And that week that I'm going is going to be the first step in really making that happen. So, you know, I'm really trying to push and get that done. Now, I want to make another, well, not even another. I want to, you know, make like a crowdfunding campaign in order just to help out with the, 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 the funds and everything. I don't really need that much help. It's just like a little, like a couple hundred here, like a few hundred that night to help out. Um, that, that might help get me over that, that little, that little hump that I need. Um, and give me some extra, uh, cash to spend. I'm not, you know, begging. I'm not even, you know, promoting it. I'm not, not really, well, I wouldn't say promoting it because I just talked about it, but, you know, I'm not really pushing for it, but it would be help, um, if people are willing to do so. But in the past, I, I, I haven't really, you know, did much to, um, you know, I guess keep up with promoting. Because at the end of the day, it just sounds like, you know, meager begging. And I just, that's never been me. So it's hard for me to do those type of things. With the crowdfunding and all that, it's hard. So, because I, I don't know, it's just not in me to do crowdfunding, but it would be helpful if you guys, um, you know, did help me out with that little bit that I need help with. Uh, but other than that, man, that that's pretty much it. So I got the E3, Nintendo, Sony, and Sony conferences coming up. I've been trying to edit those videos, um, trying to at least make them watchable, so I may have to take out like a trailer or two. But um, and also some of the music. That and uh, you know, I got Mighty Number no. Nine coming on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be starting Mighty Number no. Nine later on this week. Next week we have uh, the new Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithfulness. Um, we have Shadow of the Beast this week as well. And more Mirrors is Catalyst, and you know the Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, channel is in progress still, so we have that, and uh, that's pretty much everything. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. I know I didn't have the background music as I normally did because I didn't really want to have that drown out my voice these head the mic in this headphone. It's you know like you have to work around it. You know it's not the best, but noise cancellation is something that's useful in it. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get better with this, but um, most definitely, it's um, it's a work in progress, the Yu-Gi-Oh channel, so thank you guys for watching, peace, and I'll see you guys uh, for gameplay this week, and next week.